<laughs> okay. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Michelle. So, <laughs> I definitely have some explaining to do. This is my first video back in almost, I think, over two months. If I'm a little bit rusty here, I'm so sorry. I feel so kind of awkward here. I feel like my voice is kind of shaking talking to you guys. Before I start blabbing on and giving you guys all my excuses as to why I haven't uploaded, I want to start cooking and eating because I'm so freaking hungry. Today I'm going to be making a, okay, I have a little stovetop thingy here. This is my roommate's. She's letting me use it. Um, I've never used this before, so I hope it doesn't blow up. Okay, I figured it out. I had to go online and look at the instruction manual, but it's heating up now. It is really loud, so I'm gonna try and do this relatively quickly. You might not be able to see anything, which defeats the entire purpose of this. So this is half a cup of butter, or one stick of butter. I've gotten a lot of crap when I've used this in videos before, but I cannot stand chopping regular garlic, so I'm gonna use this like squeeze tube garlic. I like a lot of garlic, so I'm gonna add a lot. I'm kind of just eyeballing this though. My room is gonna smell like garlic. So good thing I don't have any friends that will ever come over. Next I'm gonna add some chill. Damn. It's popping. Calmate. Okay. Next I'm gonna I'm gonna add some heavy cream. This is two cups of heavy cream. You let that come to a simmer. As it's starting to heat up, I'm gonna add all the cheeses that I have. I've got Parmesan cheese, Romano cheese, Asiago cheese. I'm also gonna add a little bit of mozzarella just to help thicken it up. Okay. I'm gonna add in a little bit of basil just for some color and some extra flavor. Ooh, it's getting so thick. Now I've added my pasta. Let's mix this up. That is way too much sauce for the amount of pasta that I have. Adding all of it. Okay. Holy crap, this smells so good. That sound. <laughs> I'm so hot. <laughs> I'm so excited. It looks so creamy. I don't even know if you can see it in this pot because the pot is white inside. Stupid choice. I think I'm just gonna eat it out of this pot like a little piggy. Um, I also have some Texas toast here. This is just some garlic toast. For dessert, I went to Cheesecake Factory. I got some, ooh, this looks so good. This is some chocolate, what is it called? It's called their something anniversary cheesecake. There's chocolate cake, chocolate frosting, cheesecake. <gasps> oh gosh, please don't fall over. Okay, let's do a first test. Okay, <laughs> should I do a really nasty first bite for you guys? This is gonna be all over my face. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Bad idea. Oh my god, there might still be some on my face. This is so freaking good. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to eat this. This tastes so much more flavorful than just a normal Alfredo sauce. Using the different cheeses hmm, was a really good choice. There's so much sauce. <laughs> the only thing I should have added more of was I think garlic. I can't taste the garlic that much. But the cheeses are super, super good. <laughs> okay, 
This is ridiculous. Mmm. <laughs> Garlic toast. Mm. I love this kind of pasta. I forget what the name is, but dang, I keep flinging sauce everywhere. Mm. It reminds me of eating someone else's tongue. It's so good. I hate when people hold their fork like that. I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know why I'm talking with my mouth full. It's been a while. I forgot how to eat like a civilized human being. Mm. So, I should probably explain where I've been. I actually filmed a couple of videos that I didn't upload in the last month because I didn't like the way they turned out, but... I feel like I need to share this. Mmm. So, last time I uploaded was September something. Early September. September was a crappy month. I was sick for a couple weeks of it. I had some dental work done that made it really hard to eat for a couple weeks. Like, it was just like a bunch of crap. And then at the end of September, I found out that one of my older brothers had passed away. I have two older brothers. One of them, the oldest one, passed away. There's a plane passing by. <laughs> Can you not? Um, for a couple weeks, I went back and forth. Crap, I didn't do a thumbnail. <sighs> uh, so yeah, I went up for like a week. And then I came back to LA because I had to work still, and then I went back up for his funeral. So there's just a lot of stuff going on into October. And then October, actually for the last couple weeks I've been working on something. A lot of people don't know what I do for like my regular job, which I do random stuff all the time. But for the last couple months, I've been doing this thing called stand-in work for a TV show, which is like the worst job ever. <laughs> It's not actually the worst job, it's just a really boring job. A lot of people really like doing it, but I don't like it at all. I think it's really boring. The days are super long. We start at like 6 or 7 a.m. and we don't finish until like 10 p.m. Mm. Mm. Your job as a stand-in is literally to stand in place of an actor or an actress who is much more important than you. So I'm gonna name drop because I love her so much and I was so excited to see her up close in person. But a couple weeks ago, I was hired to stand in for Mila Kunis on one of her commercials that she's in. So literally what I had to do was like sit there while they set up the camera and the lights, which setting up camera and lights takes so long and it's just so boring. You know, they want someone sitting there to make sure everything looks good, so when the actual important person comes and sits in, Mila Kunis, you know, everything's perfect and ready for her. So yeah, I did that a couple weeks ago, and then I've also been working on this show as a stand-in for a couple months now, which has been like an everyday thing. After I'm done standing around this show that I'm doing now, I'm probably not going to accept doing it anymore because it just makes me feel like I'm wasting my life away sitting around on a set when I should be actually like working on in front of the camera stuff and like my YouTube channel and auditioning for real life acting stuff. But yeah, that's what I've been doing for the last couple months and that's why it's been super, super hard for me to film. Some stand-ins like love it so much. I remember I stood in on this show called Grandfathered a few years ago. It was starring um, Josh Peck and John Stamos. I was just standing in for a couple days for this girl character that was in an episode 
and um I remember talking to I think it was the John Stamos stand-in he had been doing it for like 10 years only as John Stamos like I think he said he had been following John Stamos for like every project he'd ever done so I kind of felt like when I was talking to him I felt like he thought that he was also John Stamos <laughs> like he was like a little bit a little strange <laughs> so yeah some people love it and they will literally do it for like 20 years but I'm not a huge fan the show I've been working on the most has so much food all the time if I look fatter it's because I am I literally just sit around and eat all day from 6 in the morning to like 10 at night I wait for them to you know call me in to stand there for a couple minutes and then I go out and eat more and that's just been my life for the last couple months okay um there's a noodle on the table for some reason uh I'm moving on to the cheesecake now oh my god this looks so good this is all such fatty food it's so great two utensils that's so nice of them to think that I have someone to eat this with <sighs> I feel like this is, oh my god. Mm -hmm. That is so freaking good. I love when you can still taste kind of like the cream cheese and cheesecake. Mm. You guys, I forgot to tell you guys. I turned 25 years old at the end of October. My birthday was on Halloween. Oh my god, I feel so old. <laughs> I read somewhere that um, 25 is usually when women start seeing signs of aging the most in their skin. I went out and I bought all of these anti-wrinkle creams and my skin is freaking peeling off like a snake. Yeah, my chin is like completely peeling. You probably can't see it, but it's really gross. If you guys see something fall off of my face into the food, it's probably just a giant dead skin flake so no worries I'm so freaking full I'm not even gonna lie I made three pieces of toast and I ate half of one like I really thought I was gonna do something here and like eat all this stuff holy crap So freaking good. Oh god, I feel like a beached whale. Okay, well I think this is gonna be it, you guys. The sun is literally like pretty much going down. I had to turn my lamp on. It's not even four o'clock yet. So note to self, film earlier. Um, I need to get back into the swing of things. I'm definitely not planning on ghosting you guys again. Um, I already have plans for my next video that I want to film. And yeah, be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys want me to eat next. I haven't talked to you guys in so long. I'm so excited to hear from all you guys again. I've been so shocked at how many of you have left me comments and sort of checked in on me and asked me what I've been doing. Um, I didn't honestly realize how many of you guys actually care that much about my videos. I feel like I'm starting fresh or something. I need new ideas. So be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys want me to eat. But yeah, that's going to be it for now. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!